Links to all the code will be in the description. So what we're going to focus on right now is making it so that our player faces the correct direction when you move. It was a pretty simple setup. So I went to my scripts folder. I opened up my player movement script that we did in the last video. We can use our input to determine which direction we're facing. And then with that, we'll just rotate ourselves. We know that our move input right here is tells us which buttons we are pressing. And the way this axis works is this is going to return a vector 2 that is a number between 0 and 1 in all four directions, depending on what we press. So, or, I'm sorry, between negative 1 and positive 1 in all four directions. So the horizontal can return a value of negative 1, 0, or positive 1. The vertical axis can do the same thing. So if we have, if our move input is equal to 0, 1, that means we are moving up, because we're moving 0 on the horizontal, so we're not pressing that button at all, and we're moving in the positive direction in our vertical axis, which is pressing the W key. So we can use this to change the way we move, or the way our art is oriented. And we're going to do this by using a switch statement. So I switch on my vector2 move input, and then my cases are going to be vector2 vector when vector equals vector2.write. So this specific setup is how you have to do a vector2 or a vector3 in a switch, sta switch statement. So what I'm saying here is write is if our vector is 1, 0. So would be pressing our D button or moving to the right. Left is our negative 1, 0. So we're pressing our A button, so on and so forth. Then what we do here is we need to know what art we want to rotate. So we created a private transform art and made this serialized. In Unity, what this is equal to is going to be our art component right here. Art. So we drag that in. Because what we want to happen is when we move, this part right here is going to turn to face whatever direction you're doing. I will note that I have added to my art a child art object that is this triangle right here to indicate which way we are facing just to make life easy on us. I'll also know that you'll see some code for, from tomorrow's video, which I'm recording both at the same time, which has to do with shooting our arrow. Back to what we're currently doing. So we're going to set our rotation equal to quaternion.euler. So this is just a way to feed in which way we want to rotate along. Um, and it converts it into a quaternion, which is just a math way to, to represent angles in 3D space. So right here we are feeding in. If we want to rotate to the right, we're going to rotate 0 degrees on the x-axis, 0 degrees on the y-axis, and minus 90 degrees on the Z axis. The reason why it's minus 90 is if I select my R and I rotate, so I want to go like this to the right, you'll see that my number is going negative and it's more or less uh, minus 90. I can just type it in directly and we know we have rotated 90 degrees to our right. Um, depending on the way your art is oriented, this value will change. So currently my art's at rest position or default position is facing up. So that's why it is negative 90 to move. If your art is facing to the right by default, then you would have to adjust the numbers accordingly. So I went ahead and did that for all of these. It follows the exact same uh, setup where you have a vector to vector when vector equals right, left, up, or down. And we just change our values. And then in our default, we don't want to rotate it at all. So what this allows us to do is we will rotate now based off of our move input. So if I hit play, you can see that whatever button I press, we rotate to face that way. You can see that by the little arrow pointing in our direction. Hope you found this interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.